Hey guys, welcome to the first C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of what C Sharp is, and I'm going to show you where and how to download Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. And that's basically just the program that we're going to be using to writing our C Sharp in. But before we get into any of that, I just want to let you know that I'm recording all of these tutorials in 1080p. So if you can't see what I'm doing, just go ahead and watch them in full screen and in 1080p. Alright, so C Sharp is a programming language that was built by Microsoft off the .NET framework. And that means that you will only be able to run the applications that you build on Windows. So you won't be able to run them on either Mac or Linux. Alright, and C Sharp, um, one of its advantages is it's very similar to other programming languages such as C, C++, PHP, and Java. So if you ever want to get into anything more advanced, uh, if you learn C Sharp, you can go ahead and pick those languages up pretty easily. Alright, so now to download Visual um, C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. So just go ahead and go on Google and type in C Sharp 2010. And then just hit enter. And just go ahead and click this first link right here. It should be Microsoft.com. Alright, so once it loads, you should see a page similar to this one. And then just go ahead and scroll down until you see Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. And then just go ahead and click that link. Then once this page loads, just go ahead and click Install Now Dash English. And basically what it's going to do is just download an installer for you. And then once it does that, just go ahead and install uh, Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. Alright, and once it's installed, just go ahead and go to your Start menu and search for C Sharp 2010. And then it should say Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. And then just go ahead and click that. Alright, once it loads up, you should see a page similar to this one, except you won't have any projects. So every time that you want to make a new project, just go ahead and go up to New Project. And once this loads, just make sure it's selected Windows Forms Application. And a Windows Forms application is basically just an application that you can see. So it has like buttons on it and text boxes and all that stuff. And then once you have this selected, just go ahead and give a name to your application. I'm just going to call it Adam's First Project. But it doesn't really matter what you call it at all. And then once you have a name selected, just go ahead and click OK. And then once that loads, you should see something like this. And this right here is just basically what your form or your application is going to look like when you build it. And we're going to get into building it and designing our application in the next tutorial. But let's just uh, get used to the user interface of this first. So over here is your toolbox. And inside of your toolbox are all the controls that can go on your application, such as buttons and text boxes and all that stuff. But we're just going to want to change this up a bit. As you can see, there's categories right now, and I just really don't like those. So if you want them, you can leave them, but I prefer to just go ahead and minimize all of these. And then you can go up to the top and just, uh, there's a drop down for all the controls. And I just think that makes it a lot easier, so you have them all in one spot. And yeah, here are all the controls that we can drag onto our application. And also, this is on auto hide at the moment, so if you like select it and then click away, you can't see it anymore. And I prefer to dock it, so to do that, just go ahead and grab the top of this, so just click and hold, and drag down to that little thing right there. And then just release it, and now it's docked right there, so it won't disappear when your mouse isn't on it. Alright, and over here is the Solution Explorer. And inside of your Solution Explorer, it basically just shows everything you have open in this program at the moment. And right now, as you can see, we just have our project and our form. And our form is basically this right here. All right, and you're also going to want to be able to see the properties for your uh, project or your application. So to do that, just go ahead and right click on your form right here and click properties. And your properties are everything about your program. So it has like your icon right here, um, what the cursor will look like, the background color and all that good stuff. But we're going to get into that in the next tutorial. And to switch between your properties and your solution explorer, you can just go ahead and click solution explorer down there. Now the Solution Explorer appears, and you click Properties, now the properties appear for your uh, program. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to get into designing our program and uh, running our application. Alright, so see you guys.